So fun fact, we are now back in Chama. Starting to make our way west to the northwest corner of the state. And Chama is the place that we took the train from um, on our scenic train tour last weekend. And it was about two hours from the Taos Ski Village where we were hanging out. But it's westward. And That's crazy. <laughs> we decided to stop back on over. So we're going to work from here today. As Bryce has stated, it is very cold. But it's 25 degrees outside. Winter is coming, so that's just what you can expect sometimes. Well, I just went for a run. It's pretty windy, so I hope you guys can hear this. It's really beautiful here. Um, so I want to show you guys around. Friday now, and we're in um, Bisti Badlands slash Denizen Wilderness. Not sure if I pronounced that probably incorrectly, but we're gonna go check out some of this stuff. The map's really unclear, but we're gonna get after it. It's really cool here. And also they found this T-Rex head here. <laughs> in the summer of 1997, maybe we'll find another one. Found one right there. <laughs> we're entering the wilderness. If the wilderness must be explored. <laughs> I love that attitude. I think we've located a dried up river. But it's like still sort of damp, so I think it must have dried up somewhat recently. <laughs> Parkour. This was fleeing his sunglasses around, now he broke them. That's an exact. <laughs> you had them you know, since you know, July. Like, you know, just like twist your sunglasses. <laughs> You know, like something like that. Mm hmm. Then just freaking snap off. <laughs> now I go. <laughs> Still work though. It does. Sick. How is it? Pretty good. Good. These kind of look like spaceships that landed on top of rocks. That's cool. Do you think there's T-Rex underneath me right now? Probably. I feel like that one. Did you bring the shovel? <laughs> no. Bop, 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 bop. I mean, it's not a brick oven pizza oven. A brick, definitely... brick oven pizza oven. You could definitely cook a pizza in there. Go in there. Okay. <laughs> I won't fit. Yeah, you won't. <laughs> Not a Katie size pizza oven. I'm like pretty much 100% sure that this is what we were looking for. Yeah. The artist palette. Sick. It's really cool. Yeah. I like this one. <laughs> Me too. That one's right? sick. Yeah, it's all weird. Yeah. We found the egg hatchery. This is it. As we get closer, you will see what well, looks like hatched cracked eggs. Yeah, this one for sure. Look at that. So much like that. This is like a piece of an egg that fell off this big egg. Or that big egg. That's so, cool. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's so wild that this is just like randomly out here. Okay. It's a little chilly. It's quite chilly. Good morning, everybody. It's a big day today. We're leaving the state. And I'm kind of sad about it because New Mexico's been awesome. But we still have a, a lot of fun planned. We're ripping we it. We've been ripping it, as you know. But this weekend, uh, today's Saturday, and we're doing uh, Chaco Cultures. National Historic Some Monument. Some other stuff, you know? Yeah, I drive. Katie tells me where I'm going. <laughs> I just drive there. So we've had to drive on this bumpy road for about an hour to get to this National Historic Park. But it's supposed to be really cool, so I think it's going to be worth it. What do you think, Bryce? 100%. We're going to check out the Visitor Center and then go exploring a little bit. Kind of cool. This place was designated a World Heritage Site in 1987. This was a very ancient place where people would come and travel here. Um, from all over and it would be a trading 
place and a place of worship and the architecture they made here was like really amazing and impressive for that time the the rooms in these buildings were about four times the size of rooms in buildings that were neighboring uh cultures, cultures. yeah exactly all right this is our first stop this is one of the great houses that we're stopping off at and it was occupied from AD 1000 to 1250, AD. 1250. Do you think you could build it? Yep. No. You can Here's our next stop, Pueblo Bonito. This building would have covered three acres. It wouldn't have more than 600 rooms and towered four and five stories high. That's pretty insane. This picture shows kind of what it would have looked like. They would have done a ton of things here, including ceremonies, administration, trading, storage, hospitality, astronomy, and burial of the honored dead. So National Geographic and the Smithsonian Institute unearthed this um, ancient society and preserved the ruins in the 1920s. There were like 100,000 tons of rubble and sand. that these are probably the kivas, which is where they would hold the religious ceremonies and gatherings. Um, it would have had a roof on it. Pretty incredible. to one of the intact rooms that's still open to visitors. We made it out. Back to reality, I hope that goes gravity. We found a friend, I don't think he's gonna pull through. A slithery little snake. He is dead. Yeah, he's not looking so good. This is so sad. <laughs> I wanted to go to this so bad. This is the Four Corners National Monument where you can stand in Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico all at the same time. And it says online that it's open until 545. But apparently now it's only open until 445, so it's closed because it's five. We missed it by like 30 minutes. That's really sad. And we drove two and a half hours. Well, we're gonna have a positive attitude about it. We're saying that we made it, you know? Like, you could be in all four states right on the other side of that fence, but it's also $8 per person to get in, so we saved $16, and I feel close enough to being in each state. <laughs> Grace said, let's put that to Dairy Queen. I agree. Take you guys along for this big milestone for us. 